My name is Stacy Kurtz and I'm the co-owner of Fruit of the Land. And it's my honor and privilege to give a tribute to Noreen Gillitz. I met Noreen on the way to Kosher Fest, a trade show in 2006. I flew from Toronto to Newark, New Jersey, and there was Noreen and her friend Helene on the plane. When Noreen realized we were all going to Kosher Fest, she said we should all take a taxi to the show together. We ended up walking the show together and we have been connected ever since. She fast became dear to us like family and one of our biggest cheerleaders for the business. She meant so much to us, to me, to Michael, to my two sons and to the entire Fruit of the Land team. Noreen loved what we were doing, bringing in Israeli products, the best of the land. She loved the products, celebrated their success with us and offered her advice and support. She especially loved our avocado blossom honey and celebrated with us when it won best honey in the world at the New York Fancy Food Show. We tried to keep her well stocked on this and her other favorites, pistachio halava and her favorite licorice from the Shook. I remember when we launched our date syrup for Rosh Hashanah, I asked her how it would be in her honey cake recipe and second helpings. So she tweaked the recipe to use our date syrup instead of the honey, and then she had another idea. She had connected us with a fraught from Ceremony Tea, the niece of Gil Marks, the cookbook author. And this company in Israel had a ginger peach tea that she added to the date honey cake, and it was amazing. Nothing was too difficult for Noreen. She was so full of ideas and energy and love. She was so witty, she named the launch event for the date syrup, It's a Date. On holidays, she would send us emails, ending hugs, Samer. Noreen was so good with words. The many, many special events we did with Noreen at our Fruit of the Land store at Promenade Mall over the years were amazing and they were always a highlight. From relaunching her classic cookbook, Second Helpings, with an amazing demo, tasting and book signing, to her wonderful event in Center Court, Kids in the Kitchen with Noreen and Daniela Silver to launch Silver Platter. And this is where she actually taught our boys to make watermelon soup using the avocado blossom honey as an ingredient. To launching her olives for Hanukkah at our store under the Noreen's Kitchen label. Her tips were the best part, not just the recipe, but the little tips and her love and her creativity seemed endless. At all the events, it seemed the highlight was sharing her love and hugging her Noreeners. She would sign every cookbook personally and take time with each person. She knew details of their lives and asked questions that mattered to them. It was a joy and an honor to carry her cookbooks in our stores. Noreen truly was the Julia Child of Jewish cooking. She inspired me to be the best person I could be. I remember at Amy Stopnicki's first event, Gathered Around the Table, Noreen was in the audience. She met Amy there and encouraged the next generation of Jewish cookbook authors. At her last event with us, Noreen was there to launch our permanent store in the upper level of Promenade Mall before she left for Montreal. We sponsored her podcast there and did a broadcast at the event. She loved the new farm fresh look of the store and came to see it while it was in construction offering her advice and encouragement to also pursue local farm fresh foods to stay current with trends. I was a member of Noreen's Facebook group, like so many Noreeners, as they were called. I would post and wait for her comment. I knew she was always there to celebrate every victory and be our cheerleader. It was a real void for me personally and professionally to know that when I posted on Facebook on the Fruit of the Land page, I wouldn't have a like or more likely a love from Noreen anymore. I think the thing that amazed me the most about Noreen and spoke the most volumes for me was what I learned about her after she passed away. She made me feel so special and important. What amazed me was reading the innumerable tributes that poured in after her passing to read how many said she was like a mother to them, the most special friend the most encouraging voice in their lives. I was in awe of how she made time for everyone and made so many people feel like the center of her world. Noreen was a treasured friend of Fruit of the Land, one of the biggest inspirations and cheerleaders. Words cannot express how much she meant to us personally and to so many. We pray for her dear family and know that her legacy of love, laughter, and classic Jewish recipes will live on. 
You taught me so much by your life, especially that you can never hug your children enough. We love you and miss you always. Stacy.